All right, so now that the weight of the vehicle's on there, this wheel and tire is gonna keep this axle shaft from turning, so it's easier to torque this nut. So we need to make sure and torque this nut. On this particular truck, the torque is 177 foot-pounds. Once that guy's torqued to spec, we'll torque our wheel lug nuts. One thing to always remember, folks, is when you have a torque wrench, once you're done using it, make sure to always turn that adjustment collar, turn the, the uh, setting all the way back off, all the way back down as far as you can. So that'll help keep your torque wrench accurate. So always apply smoothly, no need to get in a hurry. So we're going to apply that torque nice and smooth until the click. So it's much more accurate like that than if you were to just jerk it quickly. And I always like to go around, click all of them one more time. And like I said, once we're done, we're going to, on this particular one, you hold the collar down. You're going to turn it left to relax that setting all the way down as far as you can. That's going to ensure your torque wrench lasts a long time. Another thing to remember on wheels that have these type of center caps, sometimes they are directional. If you look on this particular one, it has the shape of a valve stem. This portion points directly to our valve stem right here. So it's indicated it has these two keyways here. They're gonna fit a notch into the wheel, but look for this. They almost always have an arrow or a valve stem shape to point which direction that goes. They fit real easy that way. Make sure those stay in. So pay attention to those, the ones that have wheel covers.